Hello folks, today I'm at a secret location, edge of Dartmoor. I've seen what people refer to as the Beast of Dartmoor, twice up here, over a period of about three and a half years. The first time, it was about three years ago, it was in a small field, I never had a camera or anything, and the second time was about Five or six months later, it caught me totally unaware. Um, so I thought, I'll just take a photograph of the deer. And I looked over the hedge, and there were about four or five deer panicking, running in all directions. And I thought it was me. I thought I'd spook them. And the cat was between me and deer, the deer. Um, the deer were panicking. Now, they were all in a tight group. I could just see their heads and necks. Um, I thought it was me that spooked them, but it wasn't. It was this cat, and I didn't know it was there. So I thought, well, I'll take a photograph anyhow. It was a bit awkward balancing on the hedge in poor light with my tablet. Um, so I took the photograph. I had a quick look at it before I went home, and I could see something black in it. Um, I thought, that's funny, what's that? And I was looking around for this black thing that I could see shape and I couldn't see nothing. So I never thought too much more about it. When I got home, I had a look at it and it was a black shape. Um, it was between me and the deer. I suppose I must have been about 15 foot away from it. And that's where the deer were panicking. Um, a chap come down the gym when I had the gym to see me and he said, you're Steve, aren't you? I said, yeah. Um, I want to talk to you about the big black cat. I said, don't tell me you've seen it. He said, no, unintentionally, I've killed it. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I was driving back north about one o'clock in the morning and it appeared in the road right in front of me. He said, I couldn't avoid it. He said, I hit it. He said, I know what it was. He said, it was a black jaguar. I was in the army and I've seen them over in Burma and it turned out that he'd spotted this cat or hit the cat before I had my encounter with it so that tells me there's a lot more than one of those cats around. Back in the 70s when they closed Plymouth Zoo um, there were five cats it were bought up here. Um, the other three, well, I think it was two females and a male, um, went missing. Whether they were released or escaped or what, um, no one's really sure, but it wasn't against the law back then to release them. I've come up today to set the trail cam up. Um, over a period of a couple of weeks, I've had loads of stuff on it. Deer, rabbits, foxes, you name it. Today, I've got a different bait. Bit of smelly tripe. Whoa. Really stinky this is. This is a track, I'm sure. No luck yet, folks, on the trail cam, but stay tuned. I think we're gonna be lucky. Take care, stay safe. Thanks for joining us. Bye.